Hey guys, so today we are in Bangkok, Thailand and um, we're back with another trying everything at 7-Eleven. So we got the guys to uh, help us buy everything at 7-Eleven. And the thing I love about the 7-Eleven in Thailand is that they actually heat it up for you. It's a luxury that we don't get in Singapore, we have to do it ourselves. But um, you know, when you buy like a whole meal, you don't have to heat up yourself. It makes you even want to buy 7-Eleven even more, you know what I mean? That's the convenience to the convenience store, right? <laughs> okay, so um, we have a lot of different food today. Which one do you want to try first? Anything that doesn't have cheese. What? 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 You, you don't, don't eat, eat cheese? <laughs> you hate cheese? Yeah, anything that's spicy and Oh, basically everything on the table. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, bye, Sylvie. We'll see you in the okay. next video. Our metric is five, I will eat it every day. Zero, never again. Okay, let's start. Okay, let's Shall we start it. with this? Because this looks like an appetizer. This is the chuka wakame salad. It's uh, not Thai, it's a Japanese style uh, seaweed salad. So we're gonna try this. Oh, Ooh. it actually smells quite it smells good. good. Like sesame oil. It's like the same standard as Genki Sushi. It tastes better than it looks. Yeah. If you take this out, put it on a plate, put it as sushi tei, we would never know it's from 7-Eleven. So I give this a 4. I'll give this a 2. Why? It's a bit too slimy, guys. I'll give this a 2. Nah, nah, nah. No. <laughs> okay, so I guess Trev is the harsh critic today. Let me tell you one thing about 7-Eleven in Bangkok. I genuinely think it's the best 7-Eleven in the world. It is, it is. Okay, I rate this 4.5. 4 yeah. Okay, so the average is around... You said 5? It's four. Come on, you guys, appetizer, right? There's a soup here. So this is um egg tofu and minced pork. I'm gonna try the meatball. There's oh my god, there's like legit meatballs and noodles and spring onion. You know usually like instant food, like everything's like dry. Right? But this one looks like like uh, auntie made it like an hour ago. Right. Uh, to me there's not much taste. You haven't tried the, the food. I, I okay, I'll try the meatball. Mm. Mm. This is the perfect food you have after drinking too much. It's good eh? it's actually it's, not bad. Okay, the meatball is great. Wow. It's so tender. Mm. I feel like... Okay, I give it a 4 because I'm not a soup person. Verdict, 4. 4. I agree, 4. 3? You give it a 3? Can we now go to this? Because this has been catching my eye for the whole time. Okay, okay. I don't know, it's egg, but like there's soy sauce. How many eggs? Is it like the Hanjuku eggs? Okay, ready? Yeah. 1, 2, 3. Oh, mm. sweet. Mm. Yeah. Five. Five for me. Yeah, same. Five. Five. So that's the best one so far. Okay, let's try the sausage. Okay. Fried, fresh chili sausage. Wow. And this is, um, is it pork or is it chicken? No, it's halal, so it's definitely chicken. It's, it should be chicken. So rare to find something halal in uh, Thailand. Wow, it's a four for me, guys. 3.9, no, it's a four. Yeah. Yeah, it's a I think four. three. Yeah. It's a 3.5 for me. Okay, so we quite like that. Okay, next one. Shall we try chick finger? Chick finger. Let's get it. Oh! I can eat this all it's day, guys. It is like a mao ota paste. I don't know why. Oh. It's a 5 for me, guys. It's a 5. I will eat this all day, man. It is Breakfast, a 5 for me. Lunch, it is dinner. a 5 for me. Oh, I like it, I like it. Okay, Sylvie, you get to choose what's next. Right. Should we? Maybe a burger? How about a sandwich? Okay. How about a sandwich? Okay, okay. we can try the sandwich. Cool. Mm, it smells really good, guys. Okay, cheers. Cheers, cheers. to the chicken pie. Oh, wow. Mm, what? Wow. I did not expect that. Mm. It's like sweet instead of sweet. Yeah. Oh. Do we sound like very impressed tourists? <laughs> yeah. Like I don't, don't even eat the 7-Eleven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey, this is a 7-Eleven episode. I feel yeah. like I was much harder on the Singaporean stuff that I am on the Thai stuff. No, on the Thai but, stuff, like, I love everything. In the Singapore episode, I'm just like, oh, but, it doesn't taste like anything. But, but here, I love everything. It's really, really different. Like, the yeah. quality of the food, the flavours, it's yeah. so much more intense, flavourful, and like, well thought out as compared yeah. to Singapore food. Yeah. Really. Imagine if it was hot. Fresh out. Oh, wow. This is five. 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 This is a five for me, hands down. Oh my gosh. I can eat this all day. I would eat it all day. Breakfast, lunch, okay, five. supper. Okay, so this is Vincent's favourite. Uh, if you watch our Krabi vlog, all we did in Krabi was eat this. Yeah, and we brought back so many packets of this. Vincent actually asked me to bring back some of it. But uh, we're not going to do that. We're just going to eat it in his face. Yeah. <laughs> we'll so, bring back one and then we'll finish it. Bro. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, a good so idea. bad. We're so bad. But en enjoy this episode, Vincent, because uh, we invited you and you didn't want to come, so... <laughs> this is a five. There's no debate. 
There's no debate. To make something instant taste exactly like um, restaurant, food. restaurant food or even better. Three and a half four for me. Why? Why? I feel like the layer of coating outside the chicken is very slimy. The outside pork is like very slimy. That's the beauty of the pork, man. It's, it's the mm. oil. It's the oil. <laughs> still eating it if, if it's 3.4. It's the seasoning there. Change it to at least 4. I'm hungry. Change it to at least 4 and I'll let you have some more. Okay, 4. Okay, it's a 4. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't finished the second sandwich. sandwich. Is it the same? Is it the same or different? None of these ham and cheese. Ham and cheese? Oh, so this one is ham and cheese. I want to watch you eat the ham and cheese. Oh, this is Tyrut's favourite from 7-Eleven. Oh, this is your favourite from 7-Eleven? Okay, okay, we have Thai approval. Cool. Thank you, Debbie. Keep your camera on, Sylvia. I want to see her enjoy the cheese. Cheers. No, that cheers, one... cheers. Oh, the previous one, one we ate has cheese also. Oh, that's why I didn't like it. Mm. Wow. Oh, no! I prefer the other one. I prefer the other one. But this tastes like children's food. But this is good as well. No, it's like comfort food, you know? Yeah, like, comfort food for sure. A food for your soul. Okay. No, no. I'm at a 3.5. I'm a 4. It's a 2 for me. If it's warm, 4. Oh, let's try this. Japanese style spicy tender chicken. Mm. I feel like it tastes like soggy popcorn chicken. Yeah, it's like a 3.5. Yeah, 3. It's a 4 for me. The flavour is good. It's just yeah. like the texture is a bit weird. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, fair enough. Here we have a pork cheese burger. This is like burger cheese. Okay, so there's a lot of cheese in this one, Sylvie. Do you hate it? But it's good because the barbecue sauce overtakes the cheese This burger is not my thing, man. I... Not your thing? I'm gonna feel this. It's gonna, it's gonna be a two, man. Okay, let's try this. What is this? It's... Double chicken and cheese. Oh, everything right. has cheese. Okay. Oh my god, it's soggy on the... Oh, it looks like a two already, guys. Oh. Actually, my favourite burger is not here, but it is this like um, rice burger with pork, so... Uh, maybe it was sold out or something, but I'll, I'll see if we can find it out and then I'll put it at the end of this video because that is like legit, I think, the best thing from 7-Eleven. Alright guys, so as you can see, there is actually a lot more food in 7-Eleven that we didn't pick up and there's so much that um, it's probably impossible to do a whole video about it in just one video. Probably need to split by a few videos, but um, as I was saying, this one is the best one. So if there's one thing that you guys need to if you trust me, if there's one thing that you guys really need to get from 7-Eleven, it's this real pop sticky rice burger. You guys should really try it out for yourself. But I think we picked the good ones. And uh, yeah, there's, there's really just so much. There's so much. This is the double chicken and cheese burger. This is a mac chicken. It tastes like a mac chicken that you left on the table for like 6 hours, right? Then you feel a bit hungry and you decide, hmm, should I have this, should I not? And then you're like, ah, whatever, I'm hungry. Then you open that mac chicken that's been there for six hours, it tastes exactly like this. Not too bad, I'll give it a four though. I'll mac give it a three. Mac chicken's great. So this is pork burger with bacon and cheese. It's better than the previous mac chicken. Okay. It's a good consistency. The next one we have is a seafood burger. Fish burger. Literally looks like a filet of fish Sick. Let's see if it could match up with the McDonald's filet of fish Actually, it looks very unappetizing, honestly. <laughs> this is the worst one. <laughs> <laughs> In terms of that <laughs> Wow! Tar no, sauce tastes it's like weird. they have been kept for like a few years. <laughs> I'll give it a one. Zero. I'll give you a one. One because it's edible. And you? Yeah. One. I'll give you a one. This is a disappointment! Chicken stick burger. Okay. Mm. It's tender, juicy. It's juicier than expected and it tastes a little bit like the Pizza Hut's uh, drumlets but you, if you make it into like a patty. Yes. Right? Mm. That is exactly the taste. I love it. It's a 4 for me. Mm, mm. Yummy, yummy. Okay, I'll give it a 4 too. Vietnamese sausage with chilli. It tastes like a salami. Give it like a um, 4. I'll give it a 2, man. 2. Fail. Fail? Spaghetti clam in Thai chilli paste. Well, Vanessa's here, we're gonna try. What? Spaghetti with clam. I'm not a spaghetti guy. I'm not a noodle guy. It doesn't look like spaghetti, it looks like mee goreng. You are right. Yeah, it tastes like mee goreng. It tastes more like mee goreng than spaghetti. It's spicy, it has like a little bit of like a bitter. Yeah, I don't, don't like the vegetables. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm. Don't try that. What are we giving it? Four? <laughs> three? I'm giving it three. Two. A two. two. One, one, one. A three for me. This is one of my favourites. Fried rice with Korean style chicken. What does Korean taste like? Oppa. Mm. Like, tastes like oppa. <laughs> tastes like oppa. What kind of opa? The chicken tastes like those chicken that you can get. You guys get it back in like primary school days. I would eat this again, so I'll give this a 4.5. You eat this? I will eat this, I will eat this. I will give it a 1. What? I want to 
This guy is so harsh. This is way nicer. Than this is so much better than a lot of the other stuff. This is deep fried fish with herb and spicy sauce with rice. This is the first time I've tried this. I realize I've been sleeping on it because this is really, really good. Five and a half. This is a five. The flavors are like intense, really like wow. flavorful. Wow, this is really one of the best, the best ones I've, I've had. How's the rice? Is it fluffy? I think the rice is is fresh to me. Mm. Roasted BBQ chicken with honey. These are the pizza hut chicken. Next is one of my favorites. Spicy minced pork with grilled pork and with rice. Yo, wait, wait. The grilled pork looks like the grilled pork is great. It looks questionable. Um. No, no, no. It's great. It's great. <laughs> trust me. Trust me. Trust me. It's like the pork skewers. I prefer the pork. The pork biscuit. The questionable. The, yeah, the questionable piece looking of piece of meat than the basil. So good, this meat. Yeah. Mm. This is uh, basil. Basil pork, yeah, but with fried rice. At this point, everything is starting to look the same. Is it me or this and this looks exactly the same? No, no, no. I would say this one is slightly spicier, but both is good. Both belongs in the 4.5 to 5 region. <laughs> I'm giving it a 4.5. Giving it a 3. Oh! It looks a bit bland looking compared to the rest. This looks friendly. It looks like something you can get at a second store. Okay, this is like 6.6. This looks underrated. Okay. This is so good. This is like Teochew porridge dishes. Mm. Yeah. I will give this a 5. What's that? Um, it's sour curry with vegetable omelette and shrimp. Oh my god, it sounds like a disaster. Oh no! I was not expecting that. Uh, I'm so nice. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you guys not expecting? <laughs> wow! It's like tomato sauce plus fish sauce in water. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Too sweet. Very sweet. Yeah, too sweet. I mean, so the the the, uh, the original taste is supposed to be sour. Right. Not supposed, it's supposed to be sour. sour right? Right? <laughs> this is really so sweet. <laughs> so we have mochi. Cream? Mochi ice cream. Okay. It's not mochi ice cream. It's mochi ice cream. Mochi ice cream. <laughs> Suddenly you make your own ice cream. Oh, mochi shows cream. It's definitely custard. It's not like mochi. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. custard. The next one is uh, strawberry pudding. Okay. Right. This looks like Perry's baguette. Okay. Right? So that is the last one. How do you say strawberry in Thai? Strawberry. Yeah. Strawberry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How is it? How is it, Sylvie? It's nice. Okay, would... Yeah? Yeah, it tastes like the McDonald's um, strawberry sundae. The okay. sauce, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Bro, Trev hates everything, man. No, no. <laughs> no, I love some of it. But... Trev, you're a hater. No, I'm not a hater. Trev, hater. I'll give you a three. All the Thai people are going to cancel you after this. No, I love Thai food, guys. It's just... They ban you from coming. Yeah. Certain, certain dishes. Next time Trev walks into 7-Eleven, yeah, the... you hear the sirens. No, he, yeah. can't, he can't even go through the checkpoint. He put his face like, where is your 7-Eleven hater. <laughs> Well, okay, um, that's the end. Um, what were your favourites? I think mine for sure is this one. Mine's uh, the chick fingers for yeah, sure. Yeah, mine is the chick fingers. I like the seaweed. The seaweed. seaweed, the first one. Oh, good. Out of everything we had, that yeah, is your favourite. Always... If we have time, I'll let you guys try one of the sukune, uh, the rice burger. If not, just take a photo of it because that is really, really the best thing and in 7-Eleven. Actually, the egg was good, remember? Oh, the egg, oh, yeah. yeah. The egg. Okay, I'm going to buy more of that. The, the, the egg, fingers. the egg. The fish with herbs. And if you are getting the sandwiches, eat it fresh and hot at 7-Eleven. Out of the, all the burgers, like, which one was your favourite? I'm confused at this I'm point. I'm confused, yeah. They all fish. tasted the same to me. I quite like the mac chicken. I quite like the, the one that tastes like the Burger King. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. But I gotta say that like, their Thai style dishes are really, really good. He's trying to redeem himself. <laughs> no, 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 really, the Thai style dishes are really good. Like, it's just some of it. Suddenly, Trev Monkey loses like all the, the Thai viewership. No. You like the suspicious meat patty. Oh yeah, I like the suspicious meat patty. So let us know which other country 7-Eleven we should try. It's like a good reason for us to travel, yeah. just to try the 7-Eleven food. Comment down below which country you're from, so we can try your favourite 7-Eleven food. food. And let us know which country you think has the best 7-Eleven, because mm -hmm. I legit feel that it's Thailand. Maybe when we travel in the future, something may change my mind. But so far, until today, I love the Thailand 7-Eleven. Yep. That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe, watch our latest video, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye!